you haven't even started coaching yet and you're projected to make $55,000. How is that possible? I'm booked out from the start of September through to December the 20th. Basically now I've got some Thursday I'm booked out for the rest of the year. I've got about 40 people in programs. I've got close to 20 on a reserve list and they're all amazing hand-picked people too that I'm just so looking forward to coaching. Pardon me for being skeptical, but I know there are only so many hours in a day. So are you working like 70, 80 hour weeks to make that kind of money in, in that time? No, just over 10 hours a week now. How did you do that? <laughs> Well, it's all at $300 an hour, isn't it? And here you are, and this is the magic of technology. You're in Australia, and I'm in Arizona, and you're having amazing results. And yeah. it, it it's like we're in the same room. It's great. It's scary at times to, you know, especially at the start when you're trying to, um, you believe in it, but the players haven't heard about this type of idea before, and they're skeptical and um, but as as soon as as soon as those first few groups signed up and the word started to spread, it just went ballistic. It's just that first part where you're just a bit scared about it all, and but well worth it. What are some of the results that you've been able to get for your players? I've had um, from assessment to the nine hole goal. I've had sixteen out of seventeen students reach their goal with an average improvement of nine point six shots for nine holes. That sounds too good to be true. How did you do that? Results-based coaching, get them out on the golf course. Number one, you got to assess their game, see where they're at. And then two, get them out on the golf course. Um, hold them accountable. Make them do their homework. Make sure they're playing how much they said they were going to play. And make sure they're practicing as much as they said they're going to practice. I don't think I'd ever think that my players are going to get 9.6 shots better. What is your favorite success story? My best success story is Mr. Jim, who wanted to just work on his golf swing, wanted to work on his driver. Within the assessment, I showed him using the scoring method where shots were actually falling. And we said, hey, we got you got to work on it. Course management, short game. Just after one week, he went from a 49 in assessment to shooting 40 out on the golf course. Yeah. What piece of advice would you give to other coaches about joining RGX and specifically a results-based group coaching program? Uh, be open to doing it differently. Um, I'm never one to be opposed to my like, change. Like honestly, my my bosses in the past would probably say I embrace change too much. Like I'm willing to try anything for the enjoyment of my members or like making the club work better. Like, yeah, let's do this. Let's invest in this. Let's try this. Um, but most people I come across, like they're skeptical and don't see this path because it's never been before them before. So just being open to trying it this way, um, it just, it makes so much more sense that it's the way people play golf should be the way they learn golf.